Hey guys, I'm Adam Fennig with Fennig Equipment. You're tuned into the Talking Shed. Uh, today we're out here, it's uh, November, and uh, this stuff's been harvested now for probably three weeks. And uh, what you're looking at here is right here is a dividing line of a Yetter Devastator has been ran over here versus where a De Yetter Devastator was not on the corn head over here. So I want to talk differences and uh, what advantages the Devastator brings. So of course, initial differences, you look across this field and there are stalks standing, you know, straight up all the way across. You can, you can pretty well see them and uh, they're, they're standing pretty good yet. There, there's a lot of tough stalks out there. You look over here, right here in this row, everything is laid flat. Everything's laid flat. So that, that's a, a, a uh, you know, quick, um, real quick difference that you see. Now you dig in, and that's exactly what we did. This stalk right here is one that we just cut open from over here where there was no devastator. You can see this stuff is fresh. There, we just had three and a half inches of rain, and it, it it's like nothing even got inside of here. The outer shell of this stalk is extremely hard. We had to cut this thing open with a utility knife. And you look inside, and it is not broken down at all. And that stuff is tough, really strong. Now you come over here, right here is a devastated stalk. One thing to notice, it's still attached to the root ball. We do not remove the stalk from the root ball. You do not get the winding effect, the wind blowing effect that you see with these chopping corn heads. Now you look, look at all that dirt and soil and, and water and moisture that's inside all these broken down stalks. I mean, it's, uh, you break this thing open and look at that. You can just see there's mold and bacteria and microbes and all kinds of stuff that's getting in into these devastated stalks and they're they're really brittle and they break apart easy so this stuff was harvested pretty well at the same time in fact i think this over here was harvested a little uh sooner but the residue breakdown that we're seeing is night and day if we come over here and break this thing open and i tear into that i mean compare that to that you know that that right there is a big difference you know this is completely dry notice i said we had three and a half inches of rain over the last two days completely dry there's no moisture no microbial activity and these stalks over here where the devastator has ran has ran look at that they're breaking down and you ask, well, what's the importance of breaking all these nutrients down? Well, all that N, P, and K, and everything you threw on that did not go to the ear, which you look, there's not all of that, those nutrients go to the ear. They're tied up in the stalks as well. We're returning that back into the soil. Over time, you keep returning all these nutrients back to the soil, and they're going to give back to you. You can cut back on those nutrients all of this stuff over here is just locked up standing straight up in the air and it is not worried whatsoever about getting returned back into the soil so the Yetter devastator of course saves tires we've talked that for years saves tires saves tracks on combines and grain carts but i really want to hone in on this residue management thing because in, in my opinion it's a really big deal on what we're doing i've got guys that bush hog i've got guys that run fall tillage and i've got guys that run uh uh, stalk uh, cutters through fields strictly to manage residue. We can do that with the Yetter Devastator with no additional pass, no additional fuel, and no additional horsepower. So that's what we're talking about today. I urge you to really look at that Yetter Devastator. It has a real high return on investment. And uh, that's all for today. Thanks for tuning in.